Hey, so we recently switched to uh, XO Mountain Gear packs at work, and uh, one of the concerns I had was that the XO Mountain Gear isn't necessarily targeted towards a military customer. Uh, their packs come in multi-cam, but their main audience is hunters, uh, backcountry hunters. So I was concerned about the fit with body armor. There's a ton of reviews out there on XO Mountain Gear, and there's a ton of uh, great videos direct from Exo Mountain Gear that show all of the packs and their features and everything. So this isn't a review or an overview or anything like that. It's solely how the pack fits with armor. Uh, due to the shape of the frame, I was really worried that once you put a helmet on, you weren't gonna be able to look upright. Uh, but I'm pleasantly surprised it stands far enough off your back uh, with armor on that you can look up pretty well. And it doesn't really hamper your movement uh, in that sense. However, uh, once you go prone, if you have the bag past the pack frame, um, you're pretty much boned. So I'm going to try to get a good shot of that for you here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down. Pretend I'm in the prone. You know, I'm hitting the pack and the furthest out I can see is about where my hand touches the floor. So that's not super ideal by any stretch. All right, so you can see how bad it is in the prone position. Um, you're gonna have to get the pack off as quick as possible. Uh, I have the frame uh, more or less dropped as far as it'll go. Uh, I've got kind of a tall torso and then but the armor, you know, makes it sit a little goofy from there. Um, so I'm gonna just give you a nice view. So the uh, the lumbar pad for me is well below. The, you know, there's a couple inches gap there um, before it hits the plate bag. Uh, so as far as comfort goes uh, with this thing on, it's it's all right. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of rubbing from the straps. So uh, a mystery ranch, mystery cinch could fix that uh, pretty well. But it does line up well with the uh, the shoulder pads on the plate carrier. Uh, I am wearing a, a JPC right now. I'll do another one with some bulks armor on, uh, so you can see how that fits. But again, it clears the plate bag. I'm about 5'10 with a slightly larger torso than normal, um, so you might run into some issues there. There's a little bit more adjustment in how low I can drop the bag. Uh, but in all honesty, I think I only have an inch left uh, before I run out of fixed mounting positions for the uh, the frame and the uh, the harness. And then again, looking up, standing up, you know where you can lean back just a little bit. I've got some good mobility in my head, prone with the pack bag shifts up just a little bit from being prone. Uh, I can't hardly lift my head at all. But again, that's hitting the actual uh, floating roll top. It's not hitting a frame, which was my concern. So if you kept it below that point, you should be all right. All right, so here it is, Exo Mountain Gear 5500 over bulks armor. Uh, the sides here, the waistband, it clears, but only just barely. I can get a finger in there. And then on the back, it's going to be really hard to see, but the lumbar pad is basically sitting uh, right up against the soft armor. The plate still clears, but that little bit of overhang from the soft armor right there. Uh, so if you're rucking in bulks armor for whatever reason, you know, I highly suggest you try to get your hands on this and figure out if it's going to work for you or not before you invest in a, you know, a large unit purchase if you can get uh, people to check it out. Again, you know, this is just an initial consideration, something I was worried about when we looked at them. The packs themselves are fantastic. I can't say anything bad about the pack itself. Uh, and in no way, shape, or form am I trying to say you shouldn't get one of these packs. The sizing is just a enough of a concern that it's worth looking at. Uh, before you make the investment, if you can try them on beforehand. Uh, I don't have any time actually rucking with this pack, so don't take it as me giving it a stamp of approval, uh, but there's plenty of people that already have. I have no, no doubt that the pack itself is great. It's incredibly lightweight, it's well built, 
Um, check out their videos if you're at all interested. Exo Mountain Gear, uh, they're based in uh, Idaho and uh, they do some, some great work on demonstrating our products with their line of videos. Uh, check them out.